just a little runaway. Forty-seven years and still I'm on the run, afraid of love I'm keeping God at bay. Spending days in a nightmare ain't much fun. I am just a little runaway. For my misery, always blaming someone else. I'm really into judgment and delay, but only. Everybody, it's Calico, and this is another exciting episode of Beyond the Body. And I just want to thank Frank Pykirk for the music. It never ceases to inspire me, and uh, I love that little ditty. Anyway, today we've got an, an action-packed show, and um, I'm going to start with sharing a miracle. And it didn't start out as a miracle, and that's what makes it a miracle. Um, I had an opportunity this week, and I just need to say, living miracles, if there were a community, which I guess we are in, as a symbol, um, we're kind of a think tank, think tank, um, in watching our thoughts and training our minds. It's really the only reason any of us are here, is to work with our minds, training our minds, learning a new way of thinking. <clears throat> so this week I had an opportunity to kind of see my thoughts. Um, and it's all through collaboration. So through our function, we get an opportunity to see our minds and see what we're thinking. And um, I've been doing the Inside Passage home and I joined with Jason on the phone. Um, God, it was just a couple of days ago. And he was asking me to give him some numbers, which I didn't have. And <laughs> I, my mind immediately made him wrong, immediately, because I certainly didn't want to be. So I, in my thoughts, and again, this is all in my thoughts, none of this I don't think was verbalized, but I thought in my head, asshole. <laughs> and it's like, the beautiful thing is, is I immediately saw it, and I knew Something's here. This is my projection, and I need to take this to Holy Spirit to see it differently. And so I went into prayer with it to see what there was, and there were a whole slew of beliefs that popped up because it had nothing to do with what Jason was saying or doing. What was happening was my mind was responding with, asshole, and that is making something wrong. So when I sat with it, and this is, a, there'll be a Spiri link that'll come up, hopefully. I do Spiri in my head anymore. I don't need to do Spiri. I am Spiri. So I basically looked at the turnaround of this. It's like, okay, what's here? And I really had, I'm a fuck up. I can't do numbers. Um, uh, I'm stupid. And then there was a thought that popped in that really unraveled the whole sweater. And that was, I remember growing up, my brother was a straight A student. I worked my butt off to get C's. So there was always these comments in my family of Calico, Calico, Bonnie, Bonnie was my birth name. Bonnie, if you could just be more like your brother. And I just, oh my God, it landed like an arrow in my heart. And it was like, and you have to understand, the relationship with my brother has never been the way I've wanted it to be. And I, I saw the belief that was standing in the way of me and my brother truly loving each other in the way that I so desire. So it's like all of this unraveled. One of the things that Jason was really asking for was support in this phone conversation. And what I got after going through all my beliefs to unravel the make wrong that I was doing with it, I basically really saw that until I give support, I will not feel supported. And I, I just can't, I, I feel like I'm still in, in unraveling all of it at this point. But the reality is, this is what mind training is, is to take something that appears in the illusion as very off and very wrong, turning it around and owning the projection. So I'm going to start by introducing the inside passage home because we've made some fairly extensive shifts with it. And... Jason is a part of that, as well as Suzanne and Jackie. 
um, and a whole lot of, lot of other people. I mean, there's a whole lot of people coming in into this. Um, because really, I've been having the focus on the Inside Passage home of really being geared for people that see themselves as sick or diseased. And the reality is, there are those of us that have diagnoses, and we wear those as a personal concept of who we are. And I definitely want to be open to working with people to unravel that particular self-concept, because I know it very well. But the reality is, this five and a half month long program is mind training at its finest online. And there's going to be a ton of support for people that are wanting to shift the way they think about everything. And it doesn't matter what your personal concept is. You can see yourself as a mother, a wife, a girlfriend, a boyfriend. It doesn't matter. You have children, you're a mom. It doesn't matter what your self-concept is. If you're willing to take this on and see this only through love, this is a program for you. And um, so with that, I'm going to introduce my guests who uh, I'm just so honored to have on today. Um, Jason and Jackie are with me. And Jason, all I can say is I love you. <laughs> and I so thank you for holding the space for me to go through whatever it is that I had to go through. And uh, you are my brother in the best of ways. <laughs> and um, I'm so grateful to be collaborating with you on this. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to, to Jason and Jackie. And God, if you'd like to share your inspiration for this program um, that we're going to be doing, um, I just love you both so much. <laughs> and I'm so grateful to be doing this. It's, it's a joy. It's an absolute joy. <laughs> Thanks. So here they are. <laughs> Thank you, Calico. Oh, Calico, you've got me in tears already. <laughs> <laughs> I love you so much. <laughs> yeah, you, uh, th this is what can be offered for everyone who, who chooses to be in, in this program because it's an opportunity to actually be in a community and, and develop that, that sense of love and trust that we know so well, that, that level of support that when we push it away, we know it can't be true because those around us are still there. Nothing changed. It was only our thoughts. And you know, you're talking about a think tank. I think it could be called a think tank too because you... <laughs> You can sink right down into those beliefs and, and really find yourself drowning in them. And, and then somebody, something, some tool, some, some support will come in that says, hey, come with me, be with me. And, and the, the absolute joy of that, the, the, the heartfelt sense of coming back to truth in our own hearts is such, such a gift. And right, right here, we've got a picture of Jesus in front of us. And that's what we come back to. We come back to that sense of the Christ. There is only one who knows. And let me join, join there. And that's what you feel. That's the miracle. It's the total shift. We're not sinking anymore. We're flying, flying together. <laughs> yeah, I think it's such an amazing, amazing offer. It's an opportunity to do this and, and to do it over an extended period of time. It's, it's not just a weekend retreat. It's actually developing trust and, um, and really working together over an extended period of time, which is what we offer when people come for devotional stays and um, oh excuse me <laughs> to really be together to work together to support each other 
And this is what can be offered online in people's own homes. And it, it feels like for those of us who've actually walked this journey and walked through the darkness, we, we know there's a way through it. And that's, that's what can be extended. And it feels like it's the most enormous gift for me and I know for you to be able to just share that, just that. There is a way through this and we can hold that, that passage through there, through that dark tunnel, yeah, through the sinkhole. <laughs> <laughs> So grateful. And the big news? What have we added on to this now? <laughs> I was kind of wondering about that. That's how, that's how this whole call started with Calico was we decided that um, we, we kind of knew from the beginning, but we were waiting for the particular cruise to drop in and it dropped in where we're all actually going to go together and be on a cruise at the end of this um, five months. Yes. Five month program. Yeah. We'll all be together. You get to hug each other. <laughs> yeah. And that's why we have this. I don't know if you can see what I see, but <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> mountains behind me. This is actually a picture uh, that Nicholas took on his inside passage cruise. And so we've got this double shot of this clear picture. And I've actually been up there many times myself. I drove to Juneau and Ketchikan and Skagway and, and all the places. But this this call that I had with Calico was just to be on the same page with the crews. And I thought it was beautiful because in subsequent calls with Calico, Suzanne actually said, because Jackie was saying that Calico, your tumor actually has been softening. It's just kind of a reflection of your state of mind as you soften. And, and then Suzanne said that when this, after this call, you felt like it hardened, you know, like the, <laughs> the tumor. <laughs> The tumor got harder until you softened again, and it really just showed that this dis-ease, so to speak, is is a state of mind, and, and it just, in some ways, can just reflect reflect the there's a word the malleability of the mind, and that's why you've been focusing so deeply when you've been here on on seeing that sickness is really a decision in mind, and I know that you've been having some amazing awarenesses in looking at the sickness module in MMT where I think when you realize it had absolutely nothing to do with the body and you got that on some deep level, mm -hmm. it was just like transformative to you. And you, this is your passion, you want to, yeah, you just want to give this gift away to everybody and whether it's just 12 of us on the cruise or I don't know how many people they can hold, but it's kind of cool that it's like a, a retreat on water. I actually saw a commercial yesterday for some cartoon, maybe Hotel Transylvania 3, where they talked about cruise ships. It's basically a hotel on water, but we're going to be together where you can't run from each other, which is the real <laughs> sickness. <laughs> Trying to run from each other. <laughs> right. Push the love away. <laughs> You're not going to do it. We're not. We, <laughs> yeah. We really want everyone to be together, but it is technically optional. But yeah, we really encourage everyone that signs up to to come. Well, to and I just and I want to kind of expand on that a little bit because this is so much more than just a cruise. And you know, and I know, you know, <laughs> and I'm the one with the numbers thing. And I'm going to say, you know, the cruise is going to be that part of the fee on this is going to be paid directly to the cruise ship. We're not making money on the cruise. And what we are offering in addition to the cruise is seven days of elders and people that have been working with this information in mind for years, for one-on-ones, for, you know, sessions, movie sessions. I mean, this is going to be a seven-day retreat on water. That just doesn't happen. And we're paying the same price anyone else is just for the cruise. So I just, I want to expand on it. I didn't even want to do it. I mean, there was one point, you know, I'm always keeping my bags packed. My push away is I'm out of here. I don't want to do it. They're wrong. I'm right. Well, the reality is after I went through this with you, Jason, it's like, oh my God, 
what a great opportunity to do this cruise. And, um, you know, it really is about having one-on-one -on -one for seven days on a boat. You can't get away. You're going to be looking at something. And, you know, you have all these supportive people just willing to hold you, just like you held me while I was going through my push away with you, Jason, on that call. It's like, no, there's something here for me. And I think I had a subse subsequent call with Jackie and, you know, I said, yeah, I want to leave now. <laughs> and it's like, not an option. You know, that's not what it's about. Because wherever I end up leaving to, guess who still comes with me? This insane way of thinking. And so I just, you know, it's like to do five months of mind training and then have it cushioned with a seven-day cruise on a contained container on water where you can't leave and having people there to hold your hand and say, it's okay, you're not going to die, you know, you will get through this, let's pray together, let's join. I mean, I can't think I of anything know. greater. I don't know if you remember the movie Fifty First Dates, but um, <laughs> what's the... Drew Barrymore and yeah. Adam Sandler. And Drew Barrymore has to go through this whole movie where she's had this car accident and has forgotten really who she is. And her brother and her dad and everybody's trying to help her remember, but they're doing it through bringing in past associations. And it just isn't working. And it takes a mighty companion, someone outside the box, someone who really doesn't know her from the past, to say, you know, I love you. I had a powerful encounter with you. That's all I remember about you. I see you for who you are. <laughs> and he mm. spends the whole movie mm. basically trying to remember that encounter with her and bring no past into it. And that the celebration of their love and the marriage is the end of the movie. They both wake up or they both wake up on a cruise ship on the inside passage. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, in Alaska. And she still forgets, wakes up, who am I? But he's got, he's got the whole Holy Spirit plan. He's got a video saying, you don't remember me, but, you know, showing pictures of him with his dad so to soften the, the remembrance of who he is. And all of a sudden she looks down and she's got a child, like a, mm. a seven-year-old child. And it's like everything is fresh and alive, but... But because they're together, she's not scared, and it's just the miracle. It's the miracle. So this, this cruise is really just to celebrate the miracle of coming in to the remembrance that sickness is a decision, a state of mind. So. And being loved up in the process of it. So. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 That's mm -hmm. why I'm excited. I, can't, I thought, we've never done a cruise before. This is something totally mm -hmm. out of the box. Mm -hmm. And we're always just taking risks and willing to give it a shot and see yeah. where this goes. And so I wanted to come on and, yeah, share the gift of that. I don't know if we still see it. But. Do we have <laughs> yeah, some pictures yeah, or something? Yeah, Jason, show the pictures and just, you know, share. You had said that you had some restaurants you wanted to take people to. and <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, um, Nicholas, if we could show those pictures. And then the cruise route. There's a map of the cruise route, too. Oh, yeah, there's. I'm like a... There's, Price is there's, right. There's yeah. your room. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do? There's the route. Oh, oh my God. Look at the route. So you start in Seattle. We go up to Ketchikan, <laughs> Juneau, which is the capital of Alaska, and Sitka. And you can actually drive to all these places. And people would pay to go out on kayaks and, and boats just to see the amazing wildlife. But from the cruise, I th I've never done a cruise myself, but... I'm assuming you get to see all these things. Yeah. Oh, Nicholas is giving me the thumbs up. So yeah, you get to see this all from yeah. your boats. And we've actually um, deliberately chosen Seattle to Seattle so that it's easy. Um, you don't have to um, leave from one place and arrive in another and, and start to arrange um, coming and going from different, uh, different places. So you can fly straight into Seattle on a return and come out there too. So it's, it, we just tried to make it as smooth and easy as we can. We booked a conference yeah. room for 10 to 12, and then yeah. we're going to try to book it from 7 to 10 for, for movies. And yeah. Like and, that. of course, there will be free time. <laughs> <laughs> to get off. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah.
This is so. This is the water of the cruise. It's beautiful, isn't it? They're just a nice mountain shot. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, there we go. It's the water. <laughs> These are my ideas of symbols of Alaska. <laughs> Yeah. I did want to say something about Alaska because I've traveled, I've been to lots of different mountains and around the world and there's something about everything up there just being bigger. The roads are bigger, the trees are bigger, the mountains are bigger, the animals are bigger. It's just bigger. You just get this grand scale right. of everything. And we just, actually Jackie and I just saw a movie the other day called The First Man. The First Man. Which was yeah. um, kind of a a, an inner look at Neil Armstrong, who was the first man on the moon. And they actually made um, a documentary, I think, called Shadow of the Moon many years ago, where the key line that I took out of that was they asked him why he wants to go up into space. And the reason that he answered was, he said, as humans, we can get so locked up in our inner perspectives on things that it's nice to get a grander perspective. And he actually had a mystical experience mm. in looking back at Earth and seeing that everything that he thought was important and true wasn't in that grand perspective. And so, I don't know if Alaska is like going into space, but it's mm. in the direction of a, of a larger perspective. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. Like, it's where that am same I? symbol, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Well, that's yeah. the symbol of the mind, you know, living in this illusion, believing that this is true is such a finite mind. It's kind of like, you know, you had the analogy, uh, Jackie, on that inline, in, inside passage, there are deep canyons that you're, you're sailing over and you don't know these canyons are there until you do. And then when you do, the finite mind blasts open, for lack of a better word, and you have all this love available to you. But while you're believing in the finite mind, in this small perception of the world, you know, I'm sick, or I'm a mom, or I don't have enough money, or whatever the self-concept is that's, that's triggering the finite world, once you release that, and, and Spiri, I mean, I, I'm going to put up a link for Spiri because I'm always pushing Spiri. Spiri allows you to see that differently so that you can expand that concept. Again, Jason was doing nothing but supporting me on that call. But my finite mind was asshole, <laughs> just because that's the word that was there. And it's kind of like, well, how limiting is that? That doesn't give us any space for love. And so it's like when you really expand, and I, that's why I love the inside passage home. It's like not only is it the Alaskan scenery behind you that I'm looking at that we're going to get to see, it's our minds will expand. You know, I put that license plate up of Alaska, the last frontier. Well, opening up our minds to this one mind is the last frontier, as far as I'm concerned. And so the, all the symbols of this cruise, this course, the title of it, everything is so inspired. And I just, I don't know, there's something about it that just calls to me. And boy, I just, you know, anyone watching, if there's a niggle, follow it. Because that's how Holy Spirit operates. And this niggle is Jackie's word, but it so fits. There's this little thought that crosses the mind of, oh, that would be fun. And it immediately is followed by, but, which is the ego taking control of the mind again, saying you don't have the money, you don't have the time, you, blah, 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 whatever. And it's like, ignore the but, stay with the niggle. I mean, this is like a whole new language. Ignore the but, stay with the niggle. It's like, um, it, it works, is all I can say. And... I, you know, geez, I'm just so grateful to be living in a community and have this ongoing experience of it. And now we're expanding it so that anyone that really wants to can join us on this journey of exploding our minds and seeing love, experiencing love in everything. Um, 
you know, there was a comment on the Facebook, it doesn't matter what the Facebook thing was, but someone says, I wish I could remember when the nails are going into my hands that I'm, I'm Christ. And it's like, well, we're not really not remembering what this whole process is to see that we're the ones putting the nails in. And it's like, we don't have to, we don't have to think like this anymore. And this is the beautiful, the beautiful, oh, they're getting so techy here. Now there's a five minute thing. We have five minutes left. Is there anything, they put it on the TV screen. Usually they give me a high sign. <laughs> Listen, is there anything you guys would like to just close with, since we have five minutes left, of, you know, what your passion is showing up around, around this whole program? Well, I, I think it's, you've said it. You really have said it. And it, it, I don't know that there's anything more that, that we can add. It's just really take the opportunity really do it because it is worth it and yeah you you see that those nails that are nailing you to the cross are your own thoughts and it's really nobody is doing anything to you the world isn't doing anything to you we do it to ourselves and that's really the the journey that we take to come to that recognition of truly who am i who am I? And it's more, it's so much more than anything that can be described. It, it's, I run out of words at that point. <laughs> there are no words, but really it's so heartfelt and, and it, love is the, is the outcome. Love of everything, of everyone, of everything that comes towards us. What is it that's coming towards me? Let me embrace that, whatever it happens to be. And it's that place that we can rest in. That's true rest, true peace. Yeah. And we can have fun. Yeah. It's like. And we do. Yeah, and we do. <laughs> yeah, for me, it was just that encounter with Calico, really seeing that miracle because when Jackie mm. was telling me about this, cruise and my heart's like oh my god we got to put this out there and I went to share that and I got certain members of the community to come in and join with Calico on her base camp board and and I've got Jeffrey in to be an overseer just to communicate and everything it felt like all this love and then what Calico shared that she went through it just feels like that's what we all go through with God like he's just trying mm -hmm. to love us up so much but when we have our individual perspectives or or are afraid of our worlds being infringed upon mm. we perceive that love as mm. as attack mm. and i i guess my prayer is that this whole five month journey together we get to go deeper in undoing that idea so yeah so the push away can become an embrace it's like yeah. come on in yeah. it's all good yeah i just love you both so much and i'm so grateful to have you on this journey with me um, well, the reality is I couldn't do it without you, and uh, uh. Thank we you, couldn't Calico. do it without you, <laughs> dear one. <laughs> Pressure. So everybody, I just want to truly invite you to join us. You know, you can do either the program or you can do a combination of the program and the cruise. Um, There'll be links. I think I've got a bunch of links I gave Jeff to, there was a statement that Jackie put together about her inspiration for it. That, that was just beautiful. And, and we'll have some links to go to the, the homepage for the Inside Passage. And check it out. Um, you know, again, if you have a niggle, what I invite you to do is fill out the form. Jackie and I will join with you on a Skype call and we'll see if it's a fit. Um, and the reality is there are no mistakes. So if we just join together with your prayer, I call the registrations prayers because people obviously spend a lot of time filling them out because it really requires you go into your mind and really look at what is the desire of your heart. And this program is really aimed at people that are at that point of taking the next step. And, 
The next step is we're asking people to jump with both feet. So this will be a community experience for five months, followed by a seven-day celebration slash party at sea. And uh, I invite you to join us. It, um, yeah, I, <laughs> I don't even know what else to say about it other than it feels so right. And this is coming from a woman that didn't want to do the cruise. It's like, you go on the cruise, I'll stay home. And it's like, and I get it now, it's not about the cruise, it's about the joining. And yeah. there's going to be a mighty joining at sea. And uh, I hope you and join And just us. before you go, Calico, the, um, yeah. maybe we should mention the early bird. Oh, we're, please we're do. We're actually mm. offering an early bird um, if you register and pay before the 7th of November. Okay, so that, that'll be on all those links too. So anyway, folks, thank you so much for joining Beyond the Body with Calico. Have a fabulous moment, and uh, we'll see you next week. It was just a tiny mad idea At which the Son of God remained